we've got something a bit different for you today on Evo Unwrapped. It's this, the Vauxhall GT Concept. Now it's a simple back to basics, front mid engine, rear wheel drive sports car. We're gonna walk you through everything you need to know about the car, including these rather snazzy front wheels. And what we also wanna know is what you think about it. What do you think Vauxhall should do if it were to design a sports car? As always, make sure you subscribe to Evo for more Unwrapped in future. While I'm not exactly tall myself, what you can tell is that this is quite a small car. It's about the same size as a Mazda MX-5. At the back, it's no wider than an Adam. It's no longer than a Corsa. And these tires, they're taken straight from an Astra Albay. Obviously, they're not red on an Astra. The big thing is that all this adds up to it being an affordable car. So why would Vauxhall build a concept like this? Well, essentially, they wanted to show that they could create something which harked back to the Opel GT of the 1960s and 70s. Produced in relatively limited numbers from 1968 onwards, the original Opel GT was a little bit like an early days GT86 in that it incorporated coupe styling and affordable good looks from a relatively day-to-day -day manufacturer. Imbued throughout its whole design is this red, black and silver colour scheme. You'll see more of that in the interior. But what I really, really like is at the rear, there's a little hint of RX-7 about it. You'll notice we've got these twin exit exhausts at the back of the concept here, and that's because this car is powered, in theory at least, by a 1.5 litre three-cylinder turbo petrol engine. Now, the idea is, is to have something along the lines of about 145 brake horsepower, which is roughly the same as a 1.5 litre Mazda MX-5. Normally at this point, we'd show you the engine, but we can't because it's a concept, so there's nothing underneath there. So what we want to know is what sort of powertrain you think this car should have. Should it be electric? Do you want something like a four-cylinder motor? Do you want a much more powerful motor? Let us know in the comments below. Why the red tyres then? Well, they're inspired by something called the Moto Club 500 bike from 1928. Very cool thing, check it out, it has red tyres. The other thing you'll notice is that there is no wing mirrors. That's because there's a camera system here. I'll show you something about that in a second. This red line, which runs the whole length of the bodywork, the idea is, is that it creates the illusion that the car is sitting lower, hence this long glass black dome at the top. It also leads you to the point where you open the doors, which are extremely cool. And then inside, you can see in theory where the feed from that camera would be. From the inside, the first thing that you notice is that you can actually see out of the car, because from the outside, it really doesn't look like you can. The other thing is, is that the windscreen scuttle is really low, so visibility is really good, and obviously this glass dome above you, it makes it feel so light and airy in here. This dash, it falls away, uh, so it just feels like there's loads of interior space. It, it doesn't feel anywhere near as boxed in as a GT86 or an MX-5. And then this display in front of me, it's a development of the thing that was in the Monza concept. It's a back projection screen. It is so cool. Um, I'm just gonna show you something that you can do with it. So you start the car by pressing this button here, hold it down, and then the display completely comes to life. You control it by moving your finger out of this circle, move it back to middle, lift off, and then the whole dash in front of me changes. Now with these back projected screens, they can have shape and depth. So here on the left, the speedo is in the center and the rev counter is actually the same dial, but it moves through and it hits the red line. So you can see a red oscillating wave that moves along with the engine as you accelerate. It looks absolutely fantastic. The other thing is, is that the idea is that everything is one display. So a bit like Audi's R8, and like having this simplified touchpad, which is something that we saw in the i8 Spider concept at CES, which actually had its touch control built into the armrest here. All in all, it's a very simple, very clean, very elegant interior, but the technology in here is absolutely amazing. Whether or not it makes it to a road car, we'll have to wait and see. You'll notice inside that there is no stick shift. The idea is that this has a six speed sequential gearbox controlled by paddles on the steering wheel here. Also getting out, there is no door handle. You hold this button here, pull it towards you, and the whole door opens. The Mazda MX-5 and the GT86 are both simple, fun, affordable sports cars, and we really like them at Evo. And this behind me, it looks like it has the potential to be the same thing. So let's hope Vauxhall gets involved too. Click on the left to watch the Aston Martin DB11 unwrapped, or on the right to watch the Porsche 718 Boxster.